Hello, hello, and welcome back. And hello to the new people that have stopped by. This video, I'm keeping it short and sweet. It's from the month of April. Like I said, I, I still have plenty of April, May, and June to come out yet. So, July and August, of course, but uh, we're going to work on the first couple of months first. Um, now, this is a layout in night vision, so it's not color. Now, I've condensed it to a very small video because you've spent a lot of time watching videos if you've been here a while, him being on the wheel. You don't need to see him on there for 21 minutes straight, but I did have that video out in the past just so you could actually see how long they need, desperately need their exercise and love. Only they would be running in the desert on the ground. And so they travel at least minimum five miles per day up to 10 uh, when they run. So they desperately need a wheel and the proper size home to put the proper size wheel. Otherwise, don't adopt. Uh, be prepared for your pet. Uh, take your time. Think about it. Buy the things that you need first and then adopt. Sorry, my window's open here. You can hear the traffic. Now, there's a log tree house there made of birch and it's got um, millet treat in there. Now, he'll go in there for a while. Um, I did cut out a lot of the video of him on the wheel, um, him running back and forth and doing the same thing that he's doing now, drinking, snacking, the wheel, the other water house, and, and then he would go underground, and then he'd come back and do the same thing. You don't need to see all that. You don't need all the waiting period. And like right now, he's there. There was a lot of that just showing his back snacking on the other snacks that I have in there as well on the floor of the uh, which is the ceiling of the table um, he I cut it out I condensed it very short sweet um, so because you've watched all the videos and seen him do all these various things that are in this video so there's no sense boring you and so therefore I cropped a lot of it out like him sitting in that log house hideaway. I bought that on Amazon as well. Um, for with his back to you. Who wants to watch that? <laughs> uh, him on the wheel for 21 minutes nonstop. Though I did put that video out in the past, and that was so you need to actually see how they really behave if you own one and uh, or you want to own one. They run minimum of five miles every day, up to 10 every single day, though they're on uh, desert land. And um, if you're going to adopt a rat, um, a mouse, a hamster, you're going to get a wheel, uh, please save your money, buy the large home first, not these dinky little, and stay away from the wire cages. The wires are very dangerous. You know, there's paint on them that's toxic. There's wire that could cut the insides of their mouth over time, them chewing on them. Uh, they get through the, the, the paint on there. They can, uh, eventually the wire will rust. So, I mean, they're very dangerous for them. Um, get them some dog dental bone and get them, a, get them a bigger home so they're happy that they don't want to do that. You know, and so if you have the bigger home, then you can afford for him, for his health, to get the bigger wheel, the proper size wheel, which is eight to ten inches um, for a small one like him, dwarf, and for a larger one, it should be ten to twelve inches. So this is in April, and Whisper so loves how I change his home as long as he doesn't have to do the work. In the beginning, he did mind. Um, and then when 
he did go underground and he did see that he didn't have to do, <laughs> do the work that I was helping him, rotating my three fingers and, and tunneling and putting uh, paper towel and toilet paper rolls. The brown ones, not the bleached white ones, because those are toxic, they've been bleached. If they decided to chew on them, which he don't chew on anything anyway. But um, yes, yeah, so I did that for him in, in underground homes and I would slit, put a slit in the toilet paper rolls and the paper towels and then stretch them open like an igloo so he'd have more room going through them. So he, I did the to work for him. Get all these so videos out mind quicker time. The changes mine and still does to this day. out and making them very, very short instead of a lot of him on the wheel um, a long time spending three minutes just to drink, sometimes five minutes non-stop, just drinking slowly. I don't want to bore you with too much of one thing. You've watched many of my videos, you've noticed how he behaves and how long he takes. And so therefore you will notice that I've taken a lot of him drinking for two to five minutes, him uh, with his back to you, and you just would not want to watch a video with his back to you. <laughs> not for 10, 15, 20 minutes, you know, snacking or eating. And, uh, you know, you can only have so many cameras going at one time in the summer where it's warm. LED lights do make his home warm. Sorry, you can hear my traffic going by there. So what I'm going to try to do is... April, May, and June videos that have yet to come out because I have so much of it. And um, I'm still working on decrypting the encrypted security videos, which is the raw file that I have to switch it to, make it into a video before I can even edit it and such. And I have to find those videos amongst all the empty filming that is there. So. I won't bore you with repeating that again, that I've mentioned how and why in a previous video um, about decryption and encryption and security cameras. We'll talk about that in the future in a separate video strictly on the cameras and the company, Blue Ramps. So because I'm going to try to make the videos eight to 12 minutes long, some weeks I may put out one on a Saturday at 8 a.m. and a Sunday around 8 a.m. So this was supposed to be a short video. It's been done for a while. and I just wanted to catch you up on what I plan on doing in the next few months. So thank you, thank you, thank you for stopping by. I so appreciate your time and patience. And take care and have a lovely day. Bye now.